Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa, but you can call me Nessa. And today, I have a TJ Maxx Maker Haul, okay? If you want to see what I got, stay tuned. So, let's go start because I'm very, you know, very excited. We're going to use this prompt too. So, first I got these um, United Pink, Pink Nudes from Rude. Root Cosmetics, and this one was just 10 bucks. And if you see, it's a pink, kind of like a pinky palette. And of course, do I need it? No. Do I like it? Yes, I think it's very pretty. So, and especially those, you know, glitter ones for like those press glitters. Oh my god, you guys. I can't wait to put those in my eyes today. Also, I have a from root 2, I had these uh, duo of brushes. This is two brushes, actually, right? Duo. Um, and it has a mirror in the back. That's very interesting. I never see a mirror, like, right in the back. And then you open the, um, you open, let's see if I can open it. All right. It's kind of like a peachy um, tones. So I don't know how, well, they feel very nice. They're very muted. Um, well, they're very nice. They're very fishy and more pinky. Hopefully, it's not a waste of money. This one was only uh, $3.99. And also, I don't know if this brand or VT, Romantic Beauty. It's a... A lip duo which uh, you have the lip liner on one side and the lipstick on the other side <laughs> the packaging is so cute and here is the oh it looks very dark it looks darker than in the picture well oh it looks very nice very creamy kind of like a reddish burgundy and um, on this other side, they had the lipstick right here. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll see how it looks on the lips. So I can wait. I think that would look nice with this palette. So, so also I have a crop waterproof vegan eyeliner pencil and a crop. It's vegan from. It's an Australian on company from Australia. Just a waste of box, paper, cardboard, whatever. This is a waste. So big, and this is nothing. Just one pencil inside. So it says it's 70% uh, naturally um, derby. It's a black onyx. And of course, I'm always looking for black liners. Okay, it feels very nice and creamy. And they said it's waterproof. So we're gonna let this here set and see if it's really waterproof. I don't know. I find a um, a lipstick, liquid lipstick from um, the Quite Stefani brand. And yeah, it looks a very nice uh, pinky nude. I like the packaging. So, me, you, yours. And this one is in the color um, Cowgirl. Okay. It's a very nice pinky neutral color. I love pinky lips. <laughs> um, and this one was only $6. Uh, and I didn't say the price on the pencil, it was $3.99. And I find this is strawberry jam blush from Physician Formula. And it's just so freaking stinky cute that I I had to grab it because I have a decor here, pink decor in my bedroom. And I really love everything like pinky and this thing to come out. It's so hard. Okay. Oh, it has little itty micro shimmers in it. So pretty. 
pretty pretty and on the bottom it has a little brush and a, and a mirror okay oh that's so cute <laughs> very cute it's very cute guys um also i have another blush it's a strawberry jogger from root face duo candy combo and let's go open it and it's uh, clear that's that's pretty pretty so oh yeah I like it guys look at how pretty so gorgeous also I have a path my craft um, matte lipstick this one is in the color fox something i can see p peace i don't know i don't have my glasses <laughs> i like i always like uh her packaging and they're very very artistic very pretty and this is how it looks like the lips right here and oh, just like that and i didn't know what color it was and this is this color but when you swatch it it looks like a very nice, beautiful lilac, like pinky, I mean, like purple lilac. I don't know, it's so pretty. Um, but I wasn't expecting, but the formula feels very, very nice and creamy and matte and comfortable. But I'm not sure if it's gonna be a color that I will wear. I've done those colors before, but you know. I also find the fixed coconut um, from Wack. I really like this type of setting. Well, the fix uh, spray. And also, I have a liquid lipstick from NARS. This one I pay $8.99. And this color is another pinky neutral. I love pinks. <laughs> Guys, I love pink. This formula is very nice too. It's very comfortable. Look at that color. So gorgeous. I love this formula because I have a red one and I really love it. And then on also I have the uh, MAC um, Power Kiss Liquid Lipstick. And it looks like that. This one was a 99 as well. And it's another liquid lipstick. And this one is more a uh, peachy type of one. Not bad. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. And also I have the Estilla Estilla Stay All Day Dual and the Liquid Eyeliner and this one has the uh, Intense Black and the Kitten uh, Cos Cosmo 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 <laughs> Cosmo So it's kind of like a light pink and a black on side by side and let me swatch it for you you're gonna be able not to see much but it's kind of like a metallic liquid liner and then you have the black side very nice i like the stila liquid liner i really like it so and last but not least i find the georgia armani power fabric long wear high high coverage so i can't wait to use this now and this one has uh spf 25 which is a good thing but i always wear my own spf and this one is in the color 4.5. It's a uh, kind of like a light golden medium with olive uh, tones in it. So that's how it looks like. I never have a Giorgio Armani foundation. This one was $24.99. And I think this range from 50, 60. I don't remember. Let me check. All right, guys, I find out it's $69 for the bottle. I hope it's in good condition, like it's not expired. So now we're gonna test the foundation. Hopefully looks decent. Um, I think I could go maybe a little bit darker, but 
it is so right so we're gonna go and apply it Okay. All right, guys, this foundation, it's a little bit lighter. I guess I got a little toner like this past few weeks or something. But I really like how it looks on the skin. Wow. I definitely feel like just the first application I I think it looks very pretty of course I might have to just use a little bronzer to make it work but honestly like for the rest of my skin like oh my gosh if you see my shoulders are always lighter because it's just the face especially the neck what I get a lot of the sun and um because I always have some block in my skin but yeah I think it's very pretty so after this foundation I'm going to go and probably bronze a little bit I use the um Mm, it smells so good, the Jaclyn uh, Cosmetics uh, Bronzer. This thing smells like maple syrup and I really like it. And it's a very dark matte bronzer and it actually it blends so nice on the skin. On top of the foundation, the actually the foundation, it's um, it's not set with powder and I'm not going to set it. I just, I just playing with this for a little bit. Now, this um, this uh, bronzer is very pigmented, so be careful. <laughs> you, if you're lighter than me, this one is in the color what is it called? Undressed, undressed. Yeah, it's a very nice bronzer. I like it. I really like it. I feel like I'm gonna use a little bit here. It's gonna like contour a little bit. It blends very nice on top of the foundation. I really like it. So now I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the same brush. We're gonna do the um this uh, root uh shupa shoops <laughs> duo face blush and I guess highlighter. And then I'm gonna do the highlighter. I'm gonna use this one, this brush. Now this um, highlighter, it's probably a little bit on the too gold tone for my skin, maybe. I'm not sure, maybe it looks good. Yeah, it reminds me the, I think the champagne pot from um, Becca in collaboration with uh, Jaclyn Hill. It kind of reminds me that, of course, Becca products are more luxurious and feels not, but this it looks very good. This highlighter looks very nice, very nice. So I think I'm gonna use the Physician Formula Strawberry Jam. I already swatched it. I'm gonna use this. This is very shimmery. So, oh yeah. Okay, I can see some pigment. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice. Okay, I think I put too much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to blend a little bit now with the uh, brush. Okay. All right, no bad, no bad. So now we are gonna start with the eyes. I'm gonna use this beautiful palette from Root. And I'm gonna do my eye primer, I'll be back. All right, so uh, we're gonna start now with the darkest one right here. Very, very powdery. 
Oh, okay. Ooh, pigmentation, huh? How did it put that pigmentation, guys? Okay, very pretty. Wow, it's a beautiful wine color. It's a beautiful. It's 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 blending by itself. It's so pretty, very pigmented. You just have to tap, but it's very pretty. I'm not sure. I think we're gonna do two eye looks, okay? So I feel like I'm gonna split this: the pinky side, the more neutral white color side. Yes, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. This color, it's a beautiful color. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous, guys. It's beautiful. I wanted to use the um, this other color here, my pinky, and I'm gonna use another brush. Um, So let's see if this color I can apply it right on top of that beautiful burgundy wine color. Okay, so that's gonna help to blend it better. It's very nice and vibrant, very pretty. Then we're gonna color switch, use the color switch to use the same brush, and we're gonna use this more muted pink very pretty too so far so good so far i'm liking this um palette a lot i feel like the uh, formula it's even uh, even better than so high end oh wow i think i like the um i like how this is working oh yeah definitely guys very pretty again gonna use my color swish and we're gonna go with this other pinky color oh this one it's very powdery we're gonna go on the top it's this one right here wow beautiful i really like it then i'm gonna go with this very light ivory color just to finish part right there and i think i'm done with that so we're gonna go now oh my gosh these eyeshadows are very pretty mm, i'm gonna go with the yeah we're gonna go and use the glitter this glitter this glitter looks nice. We're gonna use it without any glitter glue because I wanted to know if this is gonna be something you can apply without any glitter glue. Let's go try. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay or not. So far it's applying nice. But it's a glitter, press glitter, so it's gonna be messy. I didn't put any color base. Yeah, I would probably use a glitter glue, definitely, guys. I would do a glitter glue, but this is so pretty. I feel like I wanted to do this very light pink right here, and in the inner, hard. But really, this doesn't do much different. I mean, I'm not expecting all oh, the eyeshadows to work perfectly, but this is how it looks so with the finger swatch. Um, okay. I think I can add a little bit of this glitter too. Let's go try. Now this glitter, it's not really to be used, I think, just by itself. I think that's it. I think we're going to stop right there. 
Um, yeah, we're gonna stop right there. So now we're gonna do the other eye, and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna start with the deepest color. So we're gonna do that one. And with the color switch, I'm gonna clean my brush, and then we're gonna dip and apply. This color is very pretty. I'm gonna go with the lighter brownish color and we're gonna lap that on top. And then I'm gonna go with this more mauve color. Oh, it's quite pinky. <laughs> oh gosh, let's do something here because I feel like I mess it up. It looks too pinky. Let's go with this white one. Okay. It has a satin finish, so it's not completely mad, but I, it looks nice. Okay, and then um, I like this other color right here. Mm, I like this fishy color. Let's see if I can put that one here. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, it looks it looks decent <laughs> so we're gonna go now with this more shimmery toppy color uh, we're gonna go here in the inner part of the eye it looks very pinky and it has kind of like a micro shimmers it's very pretty though and yeah Mm -hmm. I should put this one to the shimmer. Okay, the um, they're not bad, the um, press glitter, but I feel that I need to put definitely, I will feel more comfortable putting a glitter glue. But look at how beautiful that looks. It looks very pretty though. It looks very, very pretty. I really like it, guys. I really like it. <laughs> this shadow too is so pretty. I mix with that one. And maybe this kind of gold color. I'm gonna put it right in the inner right there. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. This is. Wow. This palette, it surprised me. This palette. For 10 bucks, I feel like the uh, pigmentation is pretty good, guys. And that will be basically the eye look. Maybe I can intensify the outer corner with the brown, the first color I use. But the uh, pigmentation, it's very good, guys. I really like it. I really like this one. Yeah. sorry yeah it's a very pretty it's a very pretty palette definitely recommend it if you see it at the uh, TJ Maxx or Marshall this root um, palette I will grab it in a heartbeat I would not think about it um, yeah definitely definitely I'm gonna put the uh, gold here too it's very pretty guys it's stunning 
it is stunning i really like it i really like it yes <laughs> definitely i am very surprised like i wasn't expecting to find this i would say kind of gem on on, on tj maxx because i know they had a lot of makeup but oh my gosh this is so pretty guys yeah recommend it guys for ten dollars this is the root um united pink pinky nudes it's stunning guys i really like it um yeah let's go try the lipsticks um oh i had this liner let me see what can i do with this liner can i do an eyeliner with this like like a little stripe right there kind of like yeah i like it Cool. This is the Stila. Uh huh. Not bad. <laughs> and this is the black liner. Yeah. It's nice. It's pretty nice. I can't see very well because I have the lashes. So anyhow, it's not perfect, but it's all right. <laughs> we're just testing, okay? We just, we're not going anywhere with this makeup. But I can tell you, I really like so far all the products that I use. Really like this foundation. I'm surprised. Like the color is a slightly lighter, but uh, after bronzing and blush and all that, it came out pretty good and on the lips i think i'm gonna use this one i haven't used uh, nars liquid lipsticks in a while and this color i feel like it's gonna be a very nice color with these even if it had the purpley color My lips are so dry. It doesn't matter if I drink or not water. I get so dehydrated. Wow, this lipstick. I love it, guys. This lipstick is beautiful. So what do you guys think? Um, did I pick the bright thing? I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, let's go do the final touch. Let's go splash some coconut fix all over, all over. Mm. It really doesn't smell like coconut. I don't know, this is probably old, but I don't know. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell like coconut, but it gave me the hydration I needed in my skin. And yeah, guys, I mean, another, another, Oh, awesome haul from TJ Maxx. It's another win, I think. Um, this palette, guys, this palette is gorgeous. I really like it. I really like this palette. Give it a look again. It's gorgeous. I don't know. I really like it. Um, I have other products here that I would love to try. It's definitely going to be at another time. Um, but yeah. What do you guys think? So, thank you guys. Uh, follow, a like, comment. Uh, I'm sorry if the video was too long. I hope you like the haul and I hope you can find some other stuff if you're interested. You know, TJ Maxx, Marshall, same thing. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you next.